I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber. Let me thank all the subscribers for posting excellent questions. And I hope solution of this question will help many others. We are talking about rational functions and the question here is, write an equation of a rational function which has a whole at 1, 1 over 5. So let's, uh, let me give you some background. Uh, a rational function, let's say r of x, is of the form of p of x over q of x, where the denominator q of x is not equal to 0, right? Both p and q are polynomials. So now we have to write a rational function with some numerator and some denominator, which has a whole at 1, 1 over 5. Now, whole at 1, 1 over 5 means what? Let's understand that also. So, let me write down the condition. We say whole at 1, 1 over 5. It means two things. One, we have a common factor in numerator and denominator, which is x minus 1. Now, x minus 1 is a common factor in p of x and q of x. Now, once that factor cancels out, it leads to whole. So, that is the first thing which we understand. And the second thing which we understand from here is that the value of function r of x at 1 should be equal to 1 over 5. These are very important things to take care of when you are writing equation for such conditions, right? Now, let me add uh, two more complications to this just to, you know, provide more information in this particular video. Uh, we may, you know, we have put this condition q of x is not equal to 0. It leads to two things. One is a hole which we saw and which we are going to see in the equation. The other thing is a vertical asymptote, right? So I'll add vertical asymptote. Uh, important thing which I want to share with you is that a rational function may have a vertical asymptote, may not have, right? So, so we'll say with and without. So that gives me two more conditions and uh, you know more flexibility in providing you with some information about rational functions okay now this was kind of explanation for many of you who do not really remember what rational functions are right now let's get back to the question we need to write an equation of a rational function which has a whole at 1 1 over 5 so let the rational function be r of x since the whole is at x equals to 1, we do have a factor x minus 1 in the numerator and x minus 1 in the denominator. Now, what we need is value of function at 1 should be equal to 5, or 1 over 5. So we also need to satisfy the condition which is right there. r of 1 should be 1 over 5. How do we satisfy this condition? Okay, so at 1, we need 5 in the denominator. So what I will do here is, I'll multiply this by a over, in the denominator, I want 5 when x is 1. So I could use a term like uh, 6x minus 1. Do you see that? Now if I put x as 1, then it is 6 minus 1, which will be 5. Perfect. So that seems to be a good combination to satisfy the given condition. And in this case, you can see that there is going to be a vertical asymptote. Right? Uh, let me give you another example here, which will be, let me write this as x minus 1 over x minus 1, the factor which cancels out, times a over something in the denominator which will never be 0. That something could be x squared plus something, right? x squared is always positive. Since for 1 we need 5, let me write 4 here. Does it make sense to you? Now the idea is to find the value of a, right? So, so the value of a could be found by using r of 1, 
right so r of 1 should be equal to 1 over 5 is that okay 1 over 5 so we'll put 1 here you know these factors cancel out and that is why we are able to substitute 1 right that's why we are able to substitute so we get a equals 2 and here if I substitute 1 I do get if I write 1 here I do get 5 right uh, let me write 6 minus 1 which is 5 right so we get a over 5 so if you compare clearly a is equal to 1 right so that implies that a is equal to 1 and therefore we have our solution which is the function r of x is x minus 1 over x minus 1 times 6x minus 1 correct so that is one solution to the given situation now let's look into the second one where we have taken x square plus 4 right so here also if I substitute 1 here what do I get if I substitute 1 here I get a over 5 and a should be 1 right so so we could write this as r of x equals 2 x minus 1 over x minus 1 times x squared plus 4 you get an idea right it satisfies both the conditions now you'll be asking why did I introduce a when it was supposed to be 1 <laughs> right now we introduce a so that you understand that there could be more conditions right more conditions like what like I could give you x intercept right I could say that the function has x intercept at this point now now that will give you the value of a correct so so if I add more conditions you will see that the approach which I have adopted here will help you incorporate such conditions also do you understand my point so that's the whole idea so think broadly so and that becomes now a general solution for providing a rational functions equation with given conditions conditions could be whole at a given point vertical asymptote x intercepts y intercepts and so on correct I hope that really helps now if I add one more condition which is increasing or decreasing in its interval mm -hmm, that could make it more interesting so think widely while you're working with rational functions I hope that really helps thank you and all the best keep sharing your comments and my videos thank you